dear students in our previous class we have discussed regarding data information hardware and software and in software two types of software that is one is the system software and one more is the application software but in our today's class we are going to discuss regarding the functional components of a computer what are the components included in the computer and what are the functions those components will going to perform regarding these things we are going to discuss in our today's class we shall see functional components of a computer i will explain you with a block diagram this is the most important for your examination point of view for 3 marks or for 5 marks a question will be there explain the functional components of a computer so then you need to write the block diagram and you need to explain whatever explanation i am going to give you now so we shall discuss regarding the functional components of a computer and this can also be called as working law working law each part working law each part of a computer whatever the workings are going to be performed by <coughs> the parts of a computer okay so now i am going to write a block diagram here after that i will explain you the components of the diagram one by one in this input unit and then this is happening Included two things here. One is This one is central processing unit, which we call this as CP, central processing unit. Okay, then this is secondary storage. Then primary storage. Control unit for this. Then this is control unit. Control unit, which can be called as like this. 
mechanics, the camera which is used with the computer or the laptop. That is called as the webcam. Webcam and then microphone, etc. Microphone, then etc. Okay. So these are all the things collectively we can call the group of these input devices. We can call them as the input unit. So input unit here is the hardware components which allows the user to enter data or information into the computer. Okay, that thing we can call it as the input unit. Okay, come now. After input unit, we are going to discuss regarding the central processing unit. This is the CPU of a computer. Okay, which you will call as CPU. Okay, regarding that thing, now we are going to discuss. So here, now we are going to discuss regarding the CPU. We have discussed regarding the input unit. Now we are going to discuss regarding CPU, that is Central Processing Unit. Okay, these two things mean control unit and arithmetic and logic unit are present inside the Central Processing Unit and also some registers which are temporary storage devices. What is CPU? CPU is the main part of the main part of computer. Okay. CPU is the main part of computer. Okay. What is the work of this CPU that carries out? Carries out all the all the instructions, all the instructions of a computer program, instructions of a computer program. Okay, the programs or the softwares which are installed inside the computer, whatever instructions are given by those programs, computer programs or whatever instructions given by the computer software this program is itself called as software okay whatever instructions are given by the computer programs those instructions are carried out all the instructions all those instructions are carried out by the central processing unit that is called as cpu and it means and executes it reads and it executes the program instructions it reads and executes the program instructions ok reads and executes what is meant by reading what is meant by executing if a program or the computer pro a computer program or the computer software is given any instruction to the computer to do this just like I have shown 2 plus 2 ok a computer program asks the computer to do addition of 2 numbers that is 2 plus 2 it is a instruction by the computer program or the computer software then CPU will read this instruction ok and it will respond to that instruction and it will execute the program instructions ok it will read the data then it will execute the program instruction giving result is called as execution reading is the data which is given by the program accepting that data is called as reading so it will read the data and it will execute the given instruction and then hence it is also called as hence it is also called as brain of a computer brain of a computer ok this is the major sentence ok which is used everywhere about the CPU that is CPU is the brain of a computer whenever you get question the first thing what comes in your mind is that is CPU is the brain of a computer.
computer. <coughs> brain of a computer. Okay? And it is the unit. It is the unit that carries all the major operations. All the major operations. Okay, CPU is the unit which carries all the major operations. Whichever operations or whichever instructions are given by the user, which is asked by the computer program to the CPU, then all those instructions, all those programs, all those operations are carried out by the CPU. And also, after this, I will write here, it performs, it performs all the major calculations, it performs all the major calculations, okay, not only these things, but also CPU will perform all the major calculations, it will perform, okay, it will perform all the major calculations. Not only these things, few more things are there regarding CPU and now we will go to discuss these things. Okay, after this point, okay, after that point, now, come to the next point that is the CPU includes, the CPU includes arithmetic and logic units, arithmetic and logic units that is ALU and control unit and control unit that is C so these are the points you need to write regarding CPU that is central processing unit C. it also includes arithmetic and control unit and arithmetic and logic unit you can write control unit as first, then arithmetic and logic unit as next. And no problem, you can, read, you can write like this also. Arithmetic and logic unit, then control unit. So these are things regarding the central processing unit. Then after that, now come to the storage unit. What are the types of storages are there in the computer? Now we are going to discuss regarding the storage unit of a computer. Now come, we shall discuss regarding the memory unit. Memory unit. Okay. Memory unit. Memory unit is this and that. Primary storage is the memory unit. Okay. Memory unit is also called as memory unit is also called as primary storage primary storage or main memory or main memory that which is also called as RAM primary storage or memory unit is also called as the primary storage or main memory an example can be given for the main memory for the memory unit is RAM ok then what is the use of this main memory it stores it stores data it will store data ok then program instructions it will store program instructions program instructions and internal results internal results and final output and final output ok it is also called as primary storage or main memory example 
What is the working of this main memory or the primary memory? The working is that it stores data and program instructions. Okay, then it will store internal results and final output. When it will store before, before it is sent to an, before it is sent to an appropriate. Before it is sent to an appropriate output device, okay. Before it is saved or before all these things can be sent to any output device, these things are stored under main memory or the primary storage that is the RAM. And one more point is here: if we switch off. The computer before saving. Then at the time, whatever things are present in the RAM that is present in primary storage, that is present in main memory, present in memory unit. Okay, all these things are going to be lost. And again, if you switch on your computer, then the things which are included in memory unit. Will not be kept back. Okay, before switching off your computer, before shutting down your computer, if you have saved these things in permanent storage, okay, see here, secondary storage and primary storage. Primary storage is a memory unit. Okay, if you save the things which are present in primary storage, then those things are going to be Shifted to secondary storage. Then after shifting, they will be safe. The data, program instructions, and whatever you see, all those things are safe. Even when you switch on your computer, then you will get all the data again if and only if that is stored in secondary storage. If you have not stored these things are present only in primary storage. Then they are not accessible again, even after switching on your computer. Hope you have understood regarding the memory unit. Come now, we shall discuss regarding arithmetic and logic unit. Why that unit is called as arithmetic and logic unit? Arithmetic and logic unit. That is A L U. This is. Arithmetic and logic unit. What is the use of this arithmetic and logic unit? It performs. It performs the arithmetic operations. Arithmetic operations like addition. Okay, arithmetic operations are addition, then subtraction, subtraction, then multiplication, multiplication, and division. Okay, arithmetic and logic unit. Don't pronounce it as arithmetic. Okay, it is arithmetic. Here are I T H M E T I C arithmetic. Okay, arithmetic and logic unit. It will perform all the though it is arithmetic and logic unit. It will perform all the arithmetic operations like addition, okay, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And also it performs. It performs. All the logical operations, logical operations such as logical operations such as AND operation, OR operation, and NON operation. These operations are called as logical operations. If you Move to your second page. When you move to your second page, see 
At the time, you will come to know what is meant by logical operations and or and not. Just you remember here that is and or and not are the logical operations. Based on these logical operations, in your second PUC, you are having a complete chapter, third chapter by name logic games and second chapter by name Boolean algebra. These two chapters are having the detailed discussion regarding these things, logical operations. Now you need not worry about it. Just to remember, it will perform the logical operations such as and, or, and, not. So this is regarding arithmetic and logic unit. Now come we shall see what is the use of control unit. How this control unit will perform and what are the functions of this control unit. Now we are going to discuss all. So here now we are going to discuss regarding the control unit that is CU. What is the use of this control unit? What are the functions of this control unit? Okay, conditions. Control unit. Control unit controls controls all the operations of all the operations of computer hardware. Computer hardware. That is, okay, it will control all the operations of computer hardware. That is of, that is, that of, that of input unit, input unit, then output unit, input unit, output unit, then memory unit. Memory unit and processor. Okay. It will control the operations of computer hardware. Which hardware means input unit devices. Okay, whichever the devices present at the input unit. Okay. Controls all the operations of computer hardware. Okay, input unit, the devices which are present under input unit, those operations are controlled by the control unit. Then output unit, the devices which are present under output unit, just like the, sorry, the output unit includes monitor, printer, speakers and all the operations of these things are controlled by the control unit. Then memory unit operation, just like saving memory, okay, and in which part the memory has to be uh, saving something data in the memory, which part of memory the data has to be saved, all these things. And also the working of a processor. Don't get confused. Processor itself is a CPU. Processor itself is a CPU. That is central processing unit. Itself is called as a processor. Okay, and processor itself is called as a CPU. Because CPU is having the name central processing unit. Okay, so processor here is the central processing unit. Come, we shall see the next point here. The next point here is okay. It also coordinates. It also coordinates. Coordinates the input and the input and the also coordinates the input and output devices of a system. Output devices of a system. Okay. Let me coordinate. Coordinate means it will create a what we say. It will create a communication. Okay. It will create the links between the input and output devices of a computer system. So this is called as and this is the working of control unit. Hope you have understood this thing. Come now we shall go to discuss regarding the secondary storage. And we have left with only two things. One is secondary storage, another one is output unit. Come we shall see regarding the secondary storage now. So now we are discussing regarding the 
secondary storage secondary storage so now we shall see about the secondary storage okay the results results after after processing after processing are in are in the main memory are in the main memory okay as i have given you the example 2 plus 2 equal to 4 then this result obtained result 2 plus 2 is the instruction input and result is the 4 after obtaining these results okay after obtaining the results the data is present in primary memory only okay then the data the data and information information is stored is stored in storage storage devices okay storage devices or the storage devices can also be called as secondary storage or secondary storage okay as i have told while explaining memory unit okay the data which is ever present in the memory unit that is main memory or the primary memory if you switch off the computer that data is going to be lost okay if that data is stored in the secondary storage okay if that data is stored in the secondary storage after processing of everything okay then it will not be lost even after switching on your computer you can again get your saved data you can retrieve the data you can access the data again and so that storage is called as secondary storage okay secondary storage devices secondary storage devices secondary storage devices or also called as or also called as auxiliary memory devices or also called as auxiliary memory devices auxiliary memory devices so the secondary storage one more name for this secondary storage is the auxiliary memory devices and then one more point here i'm going to right now okay one more point regarding secondary storage that is secondary storage devices secondary storage devices storage devices can hold can hold more data more data storage more data storage than than main memory than main memory and is less expensive less expensive okay these are less expensive secondary storage because if you take the ram of 2 gb or 4 gb of ram okay ram of 2 gb or 4 gb this is main memory primary memory it costs up to 2000 or 2500 okay if you take secondary storage device that is hard disk drive okay it is of 1000 gb okay this cost you have to Okay, so secondary storage devices are less expensive than the main memory devices. Now we have left with only the last thing that is output unit. Come now, we shall see about the output unit. What are the units and which are the devices are collectively called as output unit and what are the functions of these output units. 
so what is meant by the output unit output unit okay the last thing of this functional components one is the output unit here the output unit means output unit output unit is any hardware component any hardware component of a computer okay any hardware component of a computer of a computer okay that conveys that conveys information that conveys information to one or more people to one or more people people in user understandable form in user understandable form okay this means here it will provide any output any component of a computer either it may be monitor or maybe printer or maybe speaker these are the output devices so like this said, any component hardware component of a computer that conveys that provides one or more people that provides information to more than one person okay and that information is in user understandable form okay if we give something input then it will convert it into user understandable form that is convert into english language because it will read only zeros and one the computer will read only zeros and one okay and those zeros and we give information in english it will convert that english to zeros and ones binary language then that binary language is again converted into english language and it is printed on your monitor or if you take print out that is printed in the sheet of paper and also if you want to listen audio then through the speaker you can take output of the audio okay like this in user understandable form everything will be given by the hardware components okay commonly used commonly used hardware components commonly used hardware components sorry commonly used output devices okay commonly used output devices are commonly used output devices which are the commonly used output devices okay they are monitors okay monitor it will display whatever we will then printer okay it will give you the print whichever you want then speakers speakers etc and many other things so these are the output devices and these are the functions of output devices so today we have finished the most important topic that is the functional components of the computers and working of each unit this is compulsory either for 3 marks or 5 or for 5 marks compulsory question for your first puc annual examination dear students hope you have understood all these things if you have any doubts regarding these things you can ask me personally thank you